All right, this is uh, John Brads from RunMichigan.com talking to Angela Matthews, who is the uh, 5K winner uh, here at the Jingle Bell Race uh, December the 4th in Northville. And then she was also the Turkey Trot uh, 10K winner uh, a little over a week ago in downtown Detroit. So uh, um, how'd the race go out today for you? It was really fast. The course was fast, net downhill. Um, I ran the first mile with some high school boys, I think, from Northville. And then it's just a great course. Um, I like New Balance sponsored it. There are plenty of people to run with out here. So. And it was a PR for me, too. What did you end up running today, then? I think I was about 16.49, 16.50. I know we were talking beforehand. That's what you were looking to do in the 16s. So. Right. And I was on pace, and then the second mile, like, zoned out a little bit. But, yeah, I came back. Yeah, I was going to say, the second mile is a little bit tougher, I think, when you have to get in on the uh, the, the roads and stuff like that, on the dirt roads. So, uh. Hi, Alicia. I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> um, what uh, and then uh, what? What did you do uh, coming down that uh, like when we get when we turn back? Uh, so you're kind of heading back towards here. Uh. Oh, the final stretch. Well, Roman was in front of me, and so I was trying to catch Roman, but he had a real nice finish, so I couldn't couldn't pick him up. But then a, a guy ran past me, and I tried to go with him. Um, I just like finishing on the track out here. It feels so fast, you know, the last 200 meters or so. But it was a good race. It was comfortable. There was no wind. And 5K is more my distance than 10K. <laughs> And uh, you won here last year too, right? Yes, I did. So yeah. two years in a row? Two years, that's Or is right. it more than that? You, you had quite a few wins here, I no, think. No, right? I think it's just two years because Denisa won here the year before. Okay. So. All right. And then, uh, and then uh, how did everything go out the, the turkey trot for you? It went really well. Um, again, I was running behind Roman, and he was kind of a nice wind block for me. But it's just fun to go down there. There's so many people. It's a fast course. And uh, what would you think of all the people out there this year? I know there's a lot of people there. I've never been down there. Usually I don't race on Thanksgiving. Um, but it was great. It was fun. Um, no problems getting downtown with all those people? No, I carpooled with some people, so <laughs> it worked out all right. And then uh, I think I heard you saying you're going to run uh, the half marathon of Phoenix. I am. I'm gearing up for Phoenix, the half marathon, and then, then I'm going to start to focus on steeplechase again. So this spring, I'm, I mean, I'm still coaching at South Oak Christian, but try to get some track workouts in and gear up for steeplechase. So how did your uh, first year being the head coach at Southfield Christian go for you? It went really well. Um, the boys team qualified for state, and we had our top boy was third overall. Um, and we had a couple of girl qualifiers, so yeah. And they were the boys were academic all state first team. So that'd be exciting, huh? It was exciting. It was fun to watch them progress in PR. And stuff. So was it different being a head coach there at the totally uh, state meet? Different. <laughs> totally different. There's a lot more pressure trying to get logistics straightened out, but it went it went smooth at the state meet. I mean, it was different, but I think once the first year is out of the way, the second year. Will be easier. And uh, now uh, for this half marathon, what are you going to focus on training-wise over the next, uh, I guess, month? It's like I know it's about six weeks away, probably, right? It's about six weeks away, mostly. I don't know. I'm going to run with Mary Beth <laughs> and uh, just try to keep the mileage up. And I think my longest run might be 16 miles, and that's about where I top out. So. And what and would uh, what'd you end up running in Detroit this year for the half? I was a little bit slower. I was 119. Okay. I ran 118.50 oh, or so last year. So. So I'd like to be around 117.30, 117.20 um, in Phoenix. And I hear the course is flat pretty fast. All right. Well, uh, congratulations again on the, your uh, win here at the Jingle Bell and, uh, you know, on Thanksgiving Day at the Turkey Trot. And good luck for uh, Phoenix. Great. Thanks. All right. Time. Thanks.